Hello dear students, this is problem number 20 of chapter 4 of Engineering Mechanics Statics 9th edition. So in this chapter, this is a loaded truss which is uh, in which a snow load transferred to the force forces shown in the upper chart of the part roof. Okay, the, the, all the forces are transferred to this chart. Okay, neglected, neglected any horizontal reaction at the support. At this support and this support, we neglect a horizontal reaction which make a, which resist a hinge support. So we neglect these forces because it's a very small horizontal reaction at support and solve the forces in all members. So we have to solve force in this member, force in this member, force in these all members. Okay and these members so first of all we need to draw a free body diagram but i have just uh, draw it all the things in it in this diagram uh, for ease for me okay so this is the reaction for vertical reaction force so we cannot uh, draw a horizontal reaction force so this is a vertical for reaction force and this is also a vertical for reaction force this is the loaded which is vertically uh, exerted on this truss so there are more than two unknown forces in every giant and this is very hard for us to calculate the forces in member so first of all we need to uh, find the reaction forces which is this both reaction forces and at the first we need also we need the angles between the members which make with each other okay so first of all we need to uh, let's say this is alpha angle alpha and we need to uh, find this angle so you know that tangent theta equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side so for example i uh, uh, if i check this triangle this a g and a c this is a c and b and g and if i check this triangle so tangent theta theta equal to tangent inverse 2 is the opposite side which is 2 meter and adjacent side is 4 meter 2 plus 2 is 4 meter opposite side divided by adjacent side alpha will equal to if you calculate tangent inverse 2 divided by 4 and the alpha will equal to 26.567 degree so uh, if this is alpha this is also alpha because this is a symmetrical uh, truss this is a symmetrical truss by loading and by shape by its shape this is both symmetrical if i cut it at mid point the right side is equal to the, the left side is equal to the right side so if this is alpha this will also be alpha let's say this is beta so beta equal tangent beta equal to opposite side is 2 meter and adjacent side is also 2 meter if i take this angle if i take this triangle so beta will equal to tangent beta equal to uh, opposite side divided by adjacent side so tangent inverse 2 divided by 2 which is beta equal to 45 degree if this is beta this will also be beta so if this is alpha this will also make this because this is a parallel line this is a line which you make in with x axis alpha and this is a beta which make a with x axis is beta okay now we find um, forces uh, so now we find angle uh, and uh, so we will move toward the joints uh, sorry to uh, establish a uh, reaction establish a equilibrium equation to find this reaction forces okay so summation of all vertical forces acting on this truss equal to zero so there is only these forces n a and n e and this is all vertical forces one two three four five negative five because this is downward and n plus n a plus n e so plus n a plus n a negative 5 equal to 0 due to the symmetry n a will equal to n a n a 
plus and let's say n a equal to n a so n a plus n a minus 5 equal to 0 uh, so 2 n a equal to 5 so n a will equal to 2.5 meter so if n a is 2.5 uh, sorry n a is uh, 2.5 kilonewton then we can say that n e is also 2.5 kilonewton okay because of its symmetry left side is equal to the right side okay so now we i i take joint a to find the forces in member so summation of all vertical forces acting on this joint equal to zero so a b a b sin alpha which it the angle is making alpha so a b sin alpha plus n a which is this vertical force n a plus negative one kilonewton which is this force equal to zero so a b will equal to one minus n a divided by sine twenty six point seven five so if you calculate uh, so at uh, the place of n a I put the value of uh, I put the value of n a which is two point five so if I put the value two point five and I uh, calculate this with my calculator so a b will equal to negative 3.35 kilonewton so the negative sign show that this a b is not in tension it is in compression so it is in compression now due to its symmetry a b will equal to the left side will equal to the right side a b is equal to the d e so d e will also equal to 3.35 so d e or a d is also equal to 3.35 kilonewton which is in compression now i take summation of all horizontal force acting on this joint joint a equal to zero so a h plus a b cos alpha equal to zero so a h will equal to negative a b cos 26.75 so a h at the place of a b negative 3.35 cos 26.75 a h will equal to 3 kilonewton so if a h is equal to 3 kilonewton and the right side will also e f is 3 kilometer in tension okay because of its symmetry now i will take joint b to calculate the forces in members which is connected to the joint b so this is a free body diagram of joint b and this, there is a four forces acting on this joint so summation of all horizontal forces acting on this joint equal to zero so a b cos alpha which is this force or uh, the component of a b plus bc cos alpha which is the component of bc equal to zero so bc will equal to ab cos alpha divided by cos alpha 26.57 26.5 this will cut with this so bc will equal to ab bc will equal to ab bc will equal to which is ab mm, ab is equal to 3.35 kilonewton so if uh, bc is equal to 3.35 kilonewton so this is bc cd will also be equal to 3.35 kN so cd is also equal to 3.35 kN which is in tension now i uh, i take summation of all vertical forces acting on this joint equal to zero so ab sin alpha negative which is this force negative 1 negative bh which is bh ne negative bc sin alpha which is this force bc sin alpha equal to zero so bh is unknown this r force is known so a at the place of a b i put the value of 3.35 uh, so sin beta sin alpha as it is negative as it is one as it is negative 3.35 sin beta at the place of bc i put its value so if you calculate this all values uh, bh will comes one kilonewton which is in tension oh, sorry which is in compression okay so it is in compression bh this is bh the value if you calculate this the value come with a negative sign this means that my assumption was wrong it is not in tension it is in compression now i will take joint h 
to find the forces in these members. So summation of all vertical forces acting on this joint equal to zero. So B H, uh, this is vertical force, and also component of C H, B H plus C H sine beta. So C H will equal to B H divided by sine beta negative. C H at the place of uh, B H I put value negative one negative into negative positive sine forty five divided by sine forty five. So C H will comes with a positive sign, which is mean that it is in tension 1.41 kN. So if C H is 1.41 kN, so uh, by due to the symmetry C H C H due to symmetry C F will also be 1.41 kN. So C F will also be for 1.41 kN, which is in tension. No, I will take the summation of all horizontal forces acting on joint H. So a H negative A H which is this force and negative positive G A H positive C H cos which is this force C H cos beta H cos 45 plus G H equal to 0. So G H will equal to A H negative C H cos beta. So G H will equal to negative at the place of A H I put its value negative negative more 3 negative 1.41 cos 45 at the place of beta the, it is cos 45 so gh will equal to 2 kilo newton which is in tension okay so now i want to take giant g to find the force in cg only this force so if the two forces are in the same line of action and uh, with the opposite direction and the third force which which make with an angle with these two forces will be zero so you directly say that this CG is equal to zero. Okay. Thank you very much.